What is up, party people? Uh, we're doing Crucible, going through my matches. I'll start with the one I'm currently on because this match right here, it worked insanely good. Let's just watch it. So Cabal with Kang, obviously on paper, sounds amazing. But yeah, I was able to hand... This wasn't a super huge... Black Knight is actually relatively small for where I'm at, about 400k. But I decided to use Kang Basic, and that was that. <laughs> like, and I mean, you could see he didn't even get to his ISO attack. I don't know how big of, an, of a Black Knight that would have killed, but pretty much just Black Knight dead. Um, now, if this was a full out of time, then you could then you're gonna have to start dealing with um, what's her name. Mm. You're gonna have to start dealing with revives potentially, but that's uh, tell me that and then here, no question, dead. So, and I want to go back to my previous attack because uh, I used Cabal differently here, there uh, against Scroll and uh, Secret Defenders. I used Cabal with Lizard and Green Goblin Classic. Now, of course, you know, you're breaking up Superior 6 to do this, but I used the pieces somewhere else, which is kind of what they're designed to do. So, might this work with something else besides Green Goblin? I'm not sure, but you see everyone's just about to go when Goblin goes, and he rewinds everybody. And yeah, that's a huge assist to basically end Super Scroll there. Um, but yeah, without their ability to speed up, you just kill whoever you want. So yeah, I'm starting to split up Cabal and Scroll. Uh, Cabal are so powerful. Mine aren't super huge. I think I don't even think they're gear 18. Maybe they're, I think they're gear 17. Yeah, they're like level 90, gear 17. And they just empower a powerful villain so much more. But even without that, their assists, they assist on every turn. Those, you see how much damage those it, assists do. Like half of Scroll's damage on one assist. Just boom. So yeah, Cabal are the truth. Uh, you're going to have to build them up. It's just the reality. All right, so let's go back through this. So we'll watch that. That one, Scroll, is starting to become my Pegasus counter. Mm, that one. Uh, these are all awful teams. So that took 20 turns. That was kind of a bummer. Partly because their Carnage took the ride. I was really hoping it would be Quicksilver or Void, Void Knight, but it was Carnage, so that cost me some turns. Yeah, And then that one is what it is. So what did he do? Uh, new Warriors. So, uh, oh, he lost. People have been losing. I think they underestimate because it's smaller, and then they just go in there and get wrecked. Mm. So, oh, he used scroll there. Oh, okay, so this is what I was speculating might beat this, is a strong Cabal team. And it took Cabal and Apocalypse, which is a lot. Um, beat it fairly quickly. So that's the first person to beat that team. I might start changing things up a little bit. It, it you know, got me a win here, but I know things are getting a little tougher. So uh, I don't really want to watch any of that stuff. Okay, let's go back here. Don't need to watch that. Actually, I kind of do want to watch that because, yeah, Vanilla... Vanilla Masters of Evil taking down Dorm, and I mean they didn't have Gambit. If there was Gambit in here, eh, it might not work. But without Gambit, you know you just target. So uh, yeah, I was hoping that wasn't gonna push. Um, Nightcrawler kind of did, but yeah, you don't want him to get a turn. So I always like to use Ultron on him. And here I'm just trying to do splash damage, kind of set everybody up for Kang. Everyone got a bunch of border um, barrier. That was kind of annoying. Still setting up for Kang. And I did not want to push him. That 
didn't want to do that. So, you know, even not playing exactly perfect. Kang is still going to come in here, wipe half the board, and then you just clean it up. So, again, Gambit's in there. It's a little harder. Really depends on the size of the Gambit and the room. But, not a big deal. MOE are still great. Uh, they don't beat everything, but you got to pick your spots on where you use them. So, we watch that. Uh, that's an interesting match. Let's... <laughs> You know what? I think my team was too fast, and Doom Doom didn't ult. I I remember that. But Sus against Superior Six because they get so many positive effects is just going to make him go into overdrive. Now there, I debated ulting first or using his special first. Retrospect probably should have used his special um, to get some rewinds and then plan for his. Because uh, there you can you have to use his special on Lizard. And can't get more rewind, so. Anyways, yeah. Doom is slowly, slowly dying. Can't do anything about it. So, yeah, this was really bad on efficiency. But again, Scroll can one-shot this probably solo. Um, everyone else there is kind of just cannon fodder for him, for the team. But, uh, yeah, you don't see too many... Superior six is on defense. Fortunately, uh, this guy didn't have Black Knight on defense. And I thought he was going to try to use Black Knight against my Black Knight. He did not, which I don't know why you would have Black Knight on defense if you're not going to do that. Or on offense if you're not going to do that. But anyways... Uh, and in fact, let's go see what he used, the old New Warriors. So I like I like putting uh, a big gamma because sometimes they'll use New Warriors and they could new use New Warriors and something better, but they're blowing it on the Hulk. I, look, I see that as a win. Mm. Yeah, see there he tried going in with Cabal. Yeah, you need a better better villain than uh, Omega there. Then he went in with an intentional sack. Cleaned it up with Cabal and Doom. Okie dokie. And then there, that's where he used his Black Knight, which... Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, there was something else here I thought I wanted to point out. Oh yeah, this team. So, this was a large Bifrost. And I used Pegasus without Iron Man. And Void Knight in place. And it, it went really well. It went very well. This is about an 800k punch up, I think. Yeah, they're gonna get safeguards, so so you want that person to die because it's going to speed up rescue. I don't think she has her ult, but she at least will special, and then we just keep pinging. Um, always got defensive down, so defense down, so every time they get hit, Kestrel will ping, and they never really get a turn. And then bring back the person that died. They'll likely get healed for max efficiency on health. And there you go. Don't really need to watch the rest of this. So yeah, that's a great Bifrost counter that I've started using. Okay, let's go back to day one. MOE. Mm. Oh, yes. 
So this one I used Doom and Noir and it worked. So I made a video on, on my day one actually. But whatever, since I'm here doing a full recap, go back and watch it. This is a counter. I had heard of it before, but I never really used it because I never built Noir before. And I was actually very proud of that. And Scopely made me build Noir. So here we go. Now I have Noir. And he's useful, not going to lie. But what he does is he triggers he triggers the uh, counterattack from Green Goblin, which deals splash damage, and it deals splash damage to Doom so that he gets pushed beyond half health, triggers his ultimate, and the game's over. Easy. So anyways, uh, I'm not going to go back over this. So that's it. Hope some of these counters help you, the three people that watch this, and until next time.